the little hand point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. trouble remembering names, I am Albus Dumbledore, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bones Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. There you are. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Want to trade? We buy in bulk and... What do you have? I have Quidditch armor, just like the Chudley Cannons wear. Press on the Yes button to accept the trade, or the No button to decline. The customer is always right, even in cases like this. What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001, the best model available to the general public. Suit yourself. I don't know when I'll have these again, though. Pardon me. I beg your pardon? Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. 
There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? Alright then. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. Being hit by a bludger, pushed by the other seeker or running into these can slow you down and put you further behind the snitch. The Nimbus 2001 gives you much needed speed. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. If you have enough beans, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. Remember, Harry, you'll not get your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. When you're close to another player. That's it, Harry. You've almost got it. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it! I booked the pitch for today! Hey! They've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Mudblood, the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. This leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. 
A Wigan Weld potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wigan Weld potion, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan World potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan World potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flobberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. What was that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumors and speculation spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ronry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Potter's forehead moves around like a snake, or so I heard. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. Would you be interested in what do you have? I have a silver wizard card, guaranteed not to tarnish. Thank you. 
you, Harry. We value your patronage. I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Come back later when I've had a chance to replenish my stock. I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Come back later when I've had a chance to replenish my stock. We don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Anna Amora! I've never seen anyone so nervous. Sorry, I've run out of stock. Flitwick's scourge to come challenge is impossible. Or maybe my wand needs what some do you repair. Have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. What do you have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. to charms class. Today, we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward straight scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. <laughs> Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go. <laughs> Give 
give it another try. Careful, don't lose your concentration. Give it another try. Completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. <laughs>